guys, it's me, Sapphire Hearts, and today I will be doing school supplies DIY. Now, school is just around the corner for many of you. Either you're going back or you're just going to continue doing school online. Either way, hopefully this these props will help you in some of your videos or you just want to do for fun because you have nothing else to do in quarantine so <laughs> let's get right into it the first thing i will be making is a desk foam board or cardboard a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors you want to cover your desk in um, scrap of paper um, you can do that. I'm using foam board but you can definitely use cardboard so I've already went ahead and cut um, how high I want my desk to be and how big I want my table to be. You're gonna want to find the smoothest part of, for the top of the table and you can put the more damaged side on the bottom. I'm sorry this is so dirty it's just that um, I forgot to clean it and so it kind of has like hot glue all around it so just don't mind that. And always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. You're gonna put the first leg on that one side. You're gonna repeat and glue the other side. Put the other leg on. Remember, put the good side facing out. And there you have your desk. I cut the ends a little um, because it was a little too tall for my liking, but of course you can customize this um, recipe of a DIY I don't know, <laughs> um, and make it your own way. So let's get to the next DIY. The next DIY I will be showing you is how to make a locker. You'll need a hot glue gun, cardboard or foam board, optional if you want to use scrap of paper, a marker, First step is um, to cut out how big you want your locker to be. So I already went ahead and decided plus minus foam board, you can easily just go to the second step. Um, but if you are using cardboard, I recommend covering it with wrap of paper to make it look nicer. The next thing you want to do is to get your marker or sharpie, and of course if you're using a permanent marker, I recommend adult supervision um, or permission to do this. You're going to draw a small circle and then a half oval, then you're going to draw a little dot, and then you're going to draw a line, 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 line. And that is how you do a DIY lock. And that's the locker. The next DIY is a folder. You'll need a piece of paper, scissors, glue or hot glue, and optional a Sharpie or pen. You take your rectangle of scrapbook paper and fold it to the width you want it to be. Then you cut off the excess. You can then take this piece and cut it into like a fun shape. Um, like you can even keep a re rectangle if you want. Then you're going to want to fit it to the crease and cut off if it goes a little over. Then you are going to only glue the bottom and a little of the side. Attach it to your folder. Again, have caution when working with hot objects. And now you have a folder to put all your assignments in and have a nice cover. The next DIY is a school book. You will need scrapbook paper, glue, and a sharpie or marker or pen or whatever you use to write. Even a pencil would work. First, you're going to want to fold the good side out and then you're going to reverse fold it like a fan and then you're going to fold it like that to make sure it's long enough to go three ways. Remember to have parent guidance in when using hot objects and you're going to glue the inside and fold it. As you can see, you glue it right here where you want the cover to be and then you 
have a book. Now you can add whatever you want to the inside or whatever. And that is how you make your own DIY books. And of course, when you're DIYing, you always have to have a snack right next to you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment down below what you want me to DIY next because it, it was a blast to film this video. Also, tell me if you use um, any of these DIYs that I showed you in videos or props or whatever. And if you had fun um, doing these easy crafts. I love you all. Stay safe and healthy. Bye. Hello.